Hey Universe! After almost a day of traveling, we head to our newest country to visit, Switzerland. Geneva Airport, our point of entry, has an outstanding view of the Jura mountain ranges. The airport connects to the Swiss Federal Railways which is the country's largest rail and transportation network. It is abbreviated as SBB in German, CFF in French and FFS in Italian. From the airport located in the city of Geneva, within the state of the same name, we are heading almost 63 kilometers northwest to the city of Lausanne in the canton of Vaud. The travel from the airport to central Lausanne costs 13.5 Swiss francs, but this train ride is definitely worth it with almost an hour of contrasting views of European architecture in urban districts, and stretches of plains with mountain chains as background. Upon arriving in Lausanne, we get off at the central station which is a stone's throw away from the Metro 2 station of Gare. We ride the subway northwards and get off at Venn station which is adjacent to what will be our temporary home, the Aquatus Hotel. The hotel houses the Aquatus Aquarium Vivarium, Switzerland's aquatic park that features freshwater ecosystems from Europe, Asia, Africa, Oceania, and America. Entrance varies according to age and costs at most 30 to Swiss francs per adult. This attraction is open every day from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. The hotel's theme complements the attraction with a foamy white and cerulean motif for the bed and an aquarium-like decor. The different parts of the room give a somewhat Scandinavian feel or Europe's approach to modernism and minimalism. An overnight stay at the hotel costs a minimum of 130 for Swiss francs for a standard room depending on the season. Upon check-in, the hotel provides a card that visitors can use to freely ride all public transportation including buses, trains and metros. Visitors who will stay in accommodations where a tourist tax is applied such as the Aquatus Hotel is entitled to this Lausanne transportation card. The card is valid for a maximum of 15 days. Being close to the train station and having a card that gives free rides, we check other parts of the city that stay up late. The following day we ride the subway to the southernmost station of the metro to rail, Ushi Olympique. Ushi is a port and a lakeside resort adjacent to Lake Geneva. Its most prominent landmark is the Eol, a semi-circular wind vane sculpture that follows the prevailing wind direction. Ferry rides to other Swiss lakeside municipalities such as Neon and Montreux are given, but interestingly, routes to French cities such as Thonin and Evian are also available. Here are some of Pandity's lakeside photos. Apart from the up-close view of Lake Geneva, Ushi is also home to many lush parks and gardens including Dinantu, Alices and Olympique. There is no shortage of grandiose European architecture in Lausanne. The city center is filled with towering brick buildings mainly Romanesque in style. What is most beautiful is that international companies vary their establishment's appearance to fit the city's overall aesthetic. The city is also lined with streets covered and intricately designed with cobblestones, perfect for photo shoots. Scattered within this artistic labyrinth are town plazas such as the Pallet Square. The center of the square is an old fountain adorned with a statue representing justice. But above all these is the city's most prized architectural gem, the Lausanne Cathedral. The cathedral is seen as one of the most beautiful Gothic art monuments in Europe and attracts around 400,000 visitors from all parts of the world. It is located at the heart of the old town and gives a breathtaking view of the city especially during sunset. But its most interesting feature is its 600-year tradition. Every night, starting from 10 p.m. to 2 a.m., the watchman rings the bell and cries out to the city's residents in all four cardinal directions to announce the time. As the golden hour draws to a close, we head back to our hotel and congratulate ourselves for a day well spent. And that wraps our Lausanne trip. In our next vlog, we'll visit another Swiss city. See you!